In this video, I'll show you several ways that you can quantize your MIDI grooves from within a MIDI block in the song track, in the edit play style window, and in the grid editor. Now within the song track in Superior Drummer 3, if I have a song block that I want to quantize, I can simply right click and choose quantize. And you can see we have several different selections here. Now let's first take a listen to this groove. This is a 16th note based groove from the Decades MIDI library. And we're using the default kit within that same library. So a 16 note based groove. And very quick here, if I go into the grid editor, I'm zoomed in quite a bit, you can see that this is not currently quantized. So the MIDI points are not exactly on the grid lines, nor would you want it to be because this is played by an actual drummer. You want that human feel. Well, let's say you had a situation where you needed to quantize. So we could right click on the MIDI block in the song track, go to quantize, and then choose from these different rhythmic rates. So we have quarter notes, eighth notes, 16th notes, and 32nd notes, and several triplet variations. Quarter note triplets, eighth note triplets, and 16th note triplets. I'm going to use 16th notes, since that is the main rhythmic value of this groove. And now I have a quantized groove. And before we take a listen, let's go back into the grid editor. And now you can see that all of the notes are right on the grid lines. If I undo my quantize action from the MIDI block, you can see that difference. So we are completely quantizing this groove. Go ahead and undo that. So now we are back to our original groove. Another way is to do it from the edit play style. So within the edit play style window, I can right click on any single instrument or all instruments and quantize in the exact same way. So right now the snare drum is selected. If I right click on it, I can go to quantize, choose 16 notes, and now I've quantized just the snare drum. If we jump to the grid editor to take a look, snare is selected, and you can see that has been quantized. So it's right on that grid line. I can undo and redo so you can see that difference. It's a subtle difference. You can see that snare changing there. Let's do something a little more obvious. Let's do the hi-hat. So select the hi-hat, right click, quantize, 16th notes. And now hi-hat selected and we've quantized just the hi-hat. You can see that is the only thing that's moving. I could control or command click any instruments I want. So these are the three kit pieces in this groove, kick, snare, hi-hat. Now I have them all selected, and if I right click and quantize, it's just like right clicking on the entire MIDI block and quantizing everything. So I've quantized the 16th notes, you can see all the MIDI is selected and it's all quantized. Once again, if I undo, redo, you can see we're affecting everything. Now while we're in the grid editor, let me show you one more way you can quantize your MIDI. Now from here, I can select and lasso any MIDI I want, select a rhythmic rate from this dropdown. Notice we have more options here in the grid editor. I'm gonna select 16th notes again, and then I can simply click on this Q max, quantize max value, and now I've quantized my selection. I could also select everything, so that was a shift click on all the drum parts or click on the kick and shift click all the way down to any other instrument that you want and it'll select everything in between. I can even command A to select everything. Same thing, I have 16 notes selected, I click on Q max, and now it's going to quantize everything to 16 notes. So that's my entire selection there. Now one other option you have in the grid editor is this quantize value. You can see here I've already quantized, but I could bring back this dial, and instead of either quantizing 100% or nothing at all, I can actually quantize two 16 notes and adjust somewhere in between. You can see the MIDI slowly moving within 100% quantized and not quantized at all. So that way you can quantize partially, which would tighten up your groove yet keep some of that human feel. So those are a few ways that you can quickly quantize your MIDI within Superior Drummer 3.